It's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to the latest episode of Behind the Mask. Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody about the t-shirt giveaway. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, uh, a few episodes back, I uh, mentioned uh, that I'm giving away a t-shirt. All you have to do to enter is like, comment, and subscribe, and give us a watch. Um, three winners, pick a random date to be determined, but uh I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. But today might not be for a couple of reasons. I'll get to it in a second. If you're not familiar, Dusty Hayes, he's probably one of the more remembered characters of the toy line in the cartoon. A gator. He must have really pissed some people off at Kenner. Because the next two inceptions of him, aside from that that mask abomination up there, um, he got kind of kind of shafted. Now, there's only so many times I can talk about Bill Ward Blast. And uh, not vomit. But We'll get to that in a second, too. Gator, I'm not reviewing this today, but I am missing the gun. If you have it, let me know. I'll buy it off you. Um, Dusty A's. One of the iconic ones. Then, poor Dusty got stuck with this stupid thing. Literally the worst toy in the world. I was, um, I was cleaning out... Uh, my backpack here that I take to work and I found this Splenda packet and I was trying to think which one I would rather have. You can probably guess. I like the design of Dusty itself here. It looks nice. It's a nice color uh, redesign on, on his original. But then we get to split seconds. He didn't have anything in the racing series, which when I'm talking about this, I'm going to bring up another point here. So we got the split second series, which most people in the United States didn't even know what it was because by the time it came around, mask was already off the air and we weren't really watching it. I don't know if it was in syndication at that time at all, or if anybody else picked it up. And normally when something went off, it went off for a little bit. And as you know, split seconds, the gimmick behind it is, um, the vehicle split the two things and then the driver has a clone or like a hologram that he can then use to have two vehicles attack instead of one now afterburner it's not my least favorite in my tier list i put it on the c category i believe 
and I'll dig into this more in a second, try to get transforms. But let's take a look at poor Dusty here. And it'll be up on the screen too, as you can see him better. I don't understand the design here at all. Um, he looks like, it looks like something, if you're looking at the outfit, it looks like something that Brave Star might have worn. Um, I don't know if that's been we're going for or not, but that's that's what I get out of it. In comparison sake, it's pretty it's a pretty big vehicle. Oh god, please don't let me drop this. All right. Look. That's pretty damn big. This is Rhino. It's just an odd specimen in the line. So that's a dragster that turns into a stealth jet and a cannon launcher. Um, now, as you know, whenever I try to disassemble these things to show you how it happens, there's usually about a 75% chance that I break something. I'm gonna try to hit the 25% today. So it comes with a missile. Um, and there's a bomb as well. I don't think I have the bomb. Uh, if I do, look at it in a second. But let's um, let's fire off the missile in the front here. Ooh, that was a good shot. And it landed back right on my lap. And it didn't break. Even better. <laughs> so it's got a missile. It's hard to find. It, it's um, it's it's kind of easy to like not keep this if you were a kid. Because look at it, like. You want to know what the hell this is if you were cleaning out like your stuff as a kid and you know moving away to college or something like that. It would just kind of you know you know go right over your head essentially. Um, the transformation here, it I think it's kind of manual. There's no button for it, so you kind of pull that bottom part out, and then it it turns into like this weird cannon thing here. It looks and then see if I ever how to get this thing out. Um, I'm gonna break it on a sure am. All right, get in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, this kind of just pops out, I think. Yeah, that's it. So, all right, I didn't, it didn't destroy it. I uh, will look at the jet in a second. But I'm going to put the clone inside the cannon here because I just feel like that's a clone job, really. Um, that's the transformation. It's a triangle with a rod on it. That, that's it. I mean, there's not much I can really say about it other than that's it. Oh, oh, okay. The mechanism works pretty well on the front. That's about all I can give it. Um, and here's the jet. Now you notice that when I took the jet part off of the front of the dragster, it's missing the bottom of the canopy. Well, that's rectified by this piece that kind of slides up from the bottom. And then you, just, you pretty much put them in a coffin and he goes away. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put him in there so we can see it. Poor Dusty. So I'm going to kind of zoom in here a little bit too. Uh, so you can kind of see that it's kind of cavernous in there. And he just goes pretty much straight into it like that. I mean, there's other ways you can put them on there, but there he goes. And I guess I can do this too. Actually, this is probably supposed to be down initially. It was. And then it goes like that for the jet. Now I will say that this piece here, even though there's nothing to it, it's pretty neat the way that this part transforms into what it is. But this, this is like, I don't know, a project now that like second graders do with like all the technology they have today. Is it the worst? No, it's not the worst. Is it the best? No, <laughs> a long shot, but I will say this, this should have appeared in the racing series. It's a race car, it's a dragster. 
um, you know, in the racing series, we got Pit Stop Catapult and um, Billboard Blast. Doesn't fit. I don't know. I just feel bad for Dusty because he was one of my favorite characters. And it doesn't, if you don't have the figures displayed like I do here, you can't look at the regression of the character as you look at it going down the going down the shelf here. It's a little sad, but it could be worse. I could be talking about the War Blast fully again. Afterburner, you're going to be looking at um, complete out of the box. I've seen them go for hundred and. Uh, 110 bucks. It's not, it's not one of, it's, let me rephrase that. It's not one of the ones that people really go after to collect right away. So if you're nearing the end of your collecting and you haven't gotten it yet, try to, you know, look at it that way. Look at it for that price point. And I'm trying to get this open so I can get them out of here, but I can't. So this is usually where I break something. I was going to put it back together, make it look all nice and present it again. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to show up in this stupid class and it's going to break. I'm not doing. I'm not doing it on a camera, at least. So until next time. It's Bill from MattTracker.com. Talk to you later.